Hello and welcome to this edition of Talk Bricks. Continuing our look at the upcoming Bricks Summit, this time we're going to explore the members themselves. Who are they and what are they like? Passports at the ready, here's our mini guide. The world's fifth largest country by size and population, it is of course home to the Amazon rainforest with its largest collection of living plants and animals in the world. And here, football and religion fight for people's hearts. Half the country looks up to Rio de Janeiro's Christ the Redeemer statue and half to the feet of Pele and to everyone else who's graced the Maracana Stadium. Between 2000 and 2012, Brazil's economy saw substantial growth and it briefly surpassed the UK as the world's sixth biggest economy. Blessed with oil, minerals, grasslands and timber, Brazil also has a big manufacturing base, such as for making cars for Chevrolet and Embraer jets. However, its biggest export is soybean, and much of it is shipped to China. But perhaps most importantly, Brazil has been the world's largest coffee producer for 150 years in a row. So for that, a sua saúde. Russia, the big bear that spans the world, touching the tip of Alaska in the east and all the way to Europe in the west, Russia shares a land border with a record 14 other countries along the way. Russian winters are legendary. Omiyakon has the record for the coldest inhabited place, where temperatures once dropped to minus 67.7 degrees Celsius. Petroleum and gas make up over half its exports, while its arms industry is second only to the US. But there are signs the economy is changing and becoming less reliant on natural resources. OECD data in 2016 showed Russia has the second highest percentage of college graduates, with many turning to computer software and engineering. Today, India is home to over 1.3 billion people and is growing fast. It's young too. Half of all Indians are under the age of 25, and India has about a fifth of the world's working age population. These young people are helping India to grow. For the past two decades, India's economy has grown an average 7% every year. Exports include everything from oil, diamonds, medicine, textiles and cars. If it glitters, and you can wear it or drive it, India probably makes it. And for fun, cricket is a national institution, as is the all-singing, all-dancing Bollywood film industry, which in 2012 turned out 1,600 films in just one year, more than any other country top notch. China, the country with the world's largest population and thousands of years of written history. China's ascent has been unprecedented with rapid urbanization and fast development. The US, for example, has 10 cities of more than 1 million people. China has well over 100. And they're all linked by more than 22,000 kilometers of high-speed rail, which is more than the rest of the world put together. Since its opening up, the Chinese economy has achieved economic liftoff. Today, China is the world's biggest manufacturer and the world's largest exporter. In 2016, Beijing surpassed New York to become the billionaire capital of the world. It's also home to modern tech companies such as Lenovo and retail giant Alibaba, who during their 2016 Singles Day event sold nearly $18 billion of goods online. And completing BRICS is its newest member, South Africa. Also known as the cradle of humankind, the country has produced nearly a third of all known early hominid remains, including the three million year old Little Foot. And today, South Africa is home to 55 million people, although South Africa is just one of its several names, thanks to its 11 official languages. And it is the only African country in the G20. Mining dominates industry, with the country famous for its diamond, gold and platinum mines. But things are changing, and today South Africa has a mixed economy, with flourishing banking, real estate and tourist industries. So that's the five BRICS members. While they may represent five different countries on four different continents and dozens of languages, they're linked by similar things. Growing prosperity, untapped potential and a larger stake in tomorrow's world. That's all for this edition. Bye for now.